In this module, we will look at the budget estimates and revised estimates of Punjab and Pakistan to look what are the priority areas of these two governments. Punjab will serve as a um, as an example of provincial governments because uh, all the other governments are uh, you know provincial governments have similar type of responsibilities. So Punjab will serve as uh, as an example of how provincial governments are spending and what are the major priority areas of their action. So what are the objectives of government expenditure? Uh, the primary objective is provide public and merit goods, that is those goods that have um, externalities and those goods that are um, that are more efficiently produced by a single player or single and distributed by a single player then it also uh, one of, another objective of uh, government is provision of social security uh, then regulation and level of economic activity so you see the different regulatory bodies which we have such as NEP, nepra and pemra and other bodies pta uh, who regulate the behavior of markets or different industries like telecom or electricity generation or what that. And then there is the improving the efficiency of allocation of resources. So these are the objectives of uh, government. First, we will look at the uh, federal budget expenditure uh, and see where the priorities are. And then we will look at the Punjab. These tables are from the budget in brief, which is published by the Ministry of Finance. And uh, these are from the latest budget in brief that was published in June 2019. So if on the right side you will see two columns one is budget 2018-19 another is revised 2018-19 so these are two estimates budget estimates are the estimates which are given at the time of budget and revised estimates are the estimates which are based on nine months of actual figures and three months of projections so these revised figures are much more accurate than the budget figures because budget figures sometimes governments try to inflate that they are going to spend so much on education and so much on health and so much on child protection but actually they don't have money and they know that they are not going to spend it but because of the fact that at the budget everyone is looking at those figures they try to inflate those numbers by the time revised estimates come which is nine months of actual expenditure we know how much government is going to spend or we have a good idea of how much so Revised estimates are much more important. So if you look at the total expenditure uh, in 2018, it's around 6.4 trillion. So 6.4 trillion rupees and of which current expenditure. So the difference between current and development expenditure, and we will discuss it later on also, is that current expenditure is for day-to-day -day affairs. So day-to-day -day running of government offices, salaries of the people, oil or petroleum expenditure on, on the official vehicles, repair and maintenance of roads so all these are current expenditures development expenditure is usually on development projects something which government starts anew so uh, it will be usually the effect of development expenditure is much more than the current expenditure but the gap between the two is decreasing and we don't uh, have clear in the middle it's fluid between current and development expenditure so most of the uh, money with the federal government is going to the debt servicing so out of if you look at the last column of budget 2019-20 we see that out of six trillion almost three trillion is going to debt servicing which is the interest on that we have taken previously then the second biggest is the defense which is taking almost two billion so 1.1.5 billion on uh, directly defense and then there is almost uh, around 350 million billion on uh, the military expenditures. Rest of the things are less important and not much money is given to them. Now we look at the Punjab figures. So if you look at the total expenditure, it's uh, around 2 trillion. 1.7 is on current expenditure and around 3.5 is billion uh, or 350 billion is on development sector. So different areas in which government of Punjab is spending. If you look at the budget estimates 2019-2020, that is the last column on the right, we see that 754 billion are 
are spent are going to be spent on public services similarly a large portion which is around 180 billion is spent on public law and order economic affairs is is less 121 but if you look at housing which is much less than that only 13 billion we have discussed that in the housing policy section health is also not that much 145 billion recreation and religion of course that is not important only 3 billion but education should have been higher but it's only 71 billion so these are the things which are being spent on social protection also only 9 or 9.7 billion is spent so if you look at the development expenditure most of the development is spent on irrigation and works and roads and bridges and other areas looking at the areas related to social welfare or social policy we see that not much uh, on health there is 37 billion on education it's again 37.6 billion and housing 42 billion so out of 350 billion almost 100 billion is related to is spent on social policy